What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling the dry martini. I know for a lot of people it can be overwhelming or confusing because of all the possibilities. Dry, extra dry, extra, extra, extra dry, dirty, wet, reversed, in and out, with gin or vodka, lemon twist or olives, that's a lot of possibilities. So today I'm gonna try to explain it in a very simple fashion and we're also gonna make my favorite recipe of a dry martini. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. Alright, so martini, 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 so many different possibilities, as I said, but at the same time, it is very simple. But if you guys are confused and want to make sure to order the proper recipe to your bartender, here's the language that most of them will understand. So first, the choice of booze. There's two possibilities, gin or vodka. So if you prefer vodka, make sure to say it to your bartender, because if you only ask for a martini, chances are you will get something made out of gin. Second, would you like it dry, extra dry, wet, reversed, in and out, or dirty? Those are the six possibilities that most of the bartender will comprehend. So first, let's start with the dry martini. The dry martini is gin or vodka with dry vermouth and a few drops of orange bitters. So if you like dry vermouth, you ask for a dry martini. Then you have the extra dry martini or the in and out martini for those who don't like dry vermouth. So here's what they are. For the extra dry martini, we also gonna use gin or vodka as the main component, a few drops of orange bitters, but only half of the dry vermouth. But if you want even less dry vermouth, you can always ask for an in and out dry martini. In this one, we're simply gonna rinse the glass with dry vermouth, we're gonna throw it away and then pour the chilled booze and orange bitters into your glass. Bear with me guys, we're almost there, but there's a few more to talk about. The wet martini now, it's a dry martini, heavy on the dry vermouth. So we're gonna lower the amount of booze, up the amount of dry vermouth to make a dry martini lower in ABV, which is actually a very good idea when you're planning on having more than one in your evening. But if that's what you're planning on, there's even a better option, the reverse martini. This one's called a reverse martini because a regular dry martini is made out of more booze than dry vermouth, but in this one, we're gonna reverse that for more dry vermouth than booze. But be careful, we're not simply gonna flip the original specs, we're gonna go for a two to one ratio of two parts dry vermouth to one part gin or vodka, and we're gonna keep the few drops of orange bitters. Now, last but not least, one that is very dear to many people's heart, but not mine, the dirty martini. The dirty martini is like a dry martini, but we're gonna use olive brine instead of the dry vermouth. Not a huge fan, way too salty for me. And also we're gonna stay away from the orange bitters in this one. The garnishes, very simple, only two options, lemon twist or olives. You can always ask for both if you want the snack and the freshness from the lemons, but that's it, those are the only options. One more thing that you have to know, no matter what martini that you order, you will always get it up. That means no ice. So if you prefer it on the rocks, you have to mention it to your bartender. So that's it for the boring explanations. If you guys are still here, thank you very much. I think I lost several actually five minutes ago, but so if you are still here, you guys are pretty cool. Thank you. Now we're ready to make the cocktail. We're gonna make my favorite of them all, the dry martini, and we're gonna make it with my favorite recipe. For the booze, I'm using Sipsmith because yes, I'm a gin drinker. And this one is a beautiful London Dry, Juniper Ford, amazing citrus notes, nothing too complicated, and it goes really well in a dry martini. For the dry vermouth, my favorite one is Noli Pratt. If you can't find it, you can always use Dolin, it's my second choice. And for the bitters, I'm using Regan Orange Bitters. So now that we have all my favorite ingredients, let's finally make the cocktail. When I make a dry martini, I like to see it as a ritual. I take my time because I believe small details will make a difference. And one of the details that make a major difference, in my opinion, is the temperature. It needs to be ice cold. And for that reason, I will place my glassware into the freezer and I will chill my mixing glass before mixing the cocktail. First, we're gonna add two and a half ounces or 75 ml of the gin. half an ounce or 15 ml of dry vermouth and two dashes of orange bitters. 
And now we can fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. We're gonna take the glass out of the freezer and we're gonna strain the cocktail in it. For the garnish, we're gonna express lemon oil over the cocktail. We're gonna rub the zest on the rim of the glass and a little bit on the stem. We're gonna make the zest pretty. I'm gonna place it in the martini because that way it's gonna keep on infusing and I love it. So when I make a martini at home, I always put three olives on a pick, just like that. And that's for Sephra because that's the only thing that she likes about a martini. So that way, you see, I feel like I'm sharing my cocktail with her. Yes. My pleasure. And that's it, my friends. This is how we make my favorite martini recipe. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. And in contrary of what we could think, this is very easy to drink. The dilution, when made properly, just opens up the botanicals from the gin, lowers the ABV of the whole cocktail, there's a few extra layers of complexity because of the dry mood and the orange bitters. The lemon oils makes it very bright, crisp, almost refreshing. So when you're feeling for something that's dry, not bitter and complex, I think this is what you should go for to quench your thirst. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Oh, and by the way, if you order a martini in a bar and you see the bartender shaking your cocktail when you didn't ask for it, maybe you should run because that's just a James Bond thing and it shouldn't happen. You've been warned. <laughs> Thank you and see you very soon. Cheers. Hey, hi guys. I'm on my way back from the liquor store to pick up some tequila for next week's video. And did you know that in the province of Quebec, there's like 500 gins available and probably no more than 10 decent tequila? It's kind of sad, but I simply wanted to share that with you and maybe ask the SAQ if you guys are watching this, which I highly doubt, could you do something please? That would be awesome. Anyway, see you next week. Bye.